Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I will show you how to make an abstract render in just 5 minutes in Blender. As always, it will be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so before we start this tutorial, we need to download the Attractor add-on for Blender. So just click Clone or Download and then click Download Zip. And when the uh, zip file is downloaded, you need to unzip the file because the add-on doesn't work unless you unzip it because uh, we need to open it as a Python file. So uh, go back to Blender. And then first you need to change to the Cycles render because uh, it's going to look a lot better. And then click File and click Use Your Preferences. And then down below, click Install Add-on. And then go to the Downloads and open the uh, Python file. So attractor.py and then install add-on. Okay, and then we need to find the add-on. So just write in attractor, and then select the add-on, and then click save user settings. Okay, so let's go back to Blender, delete the default cube, and click shift A, and let's go to curve, and then go into the attractors. And here you'll find a lot of cool uh, shapes. And for this tutorial, I ended up choosing the Aizawa uh, curve. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks great. So uh, let's add some volume to the uh, curve. Click Shift A, add a uh, circle curve, and then select the attractor. Go into the settings of the curve, and then add the Bezier circle. And then select the circle and click S to scale it down. Okay, so now the uh, shape itself is done. So now it's time to add the lighting and the setup for the render. So let's uh, left click below the uh, attractor and click Shift A and add a plane. And then click G, then Set to grab the plane on the set axis. And then click S to scale up the plane. And then left click to confirm the uh, scale. Okay, and now let's uh, select the lamp and turn it into a sun, increase the size to 1, and click use nodes, and then increase the strength, let's say to uh, 6. And then let's go into rendered view and see what it looks like. And now it's just white, so let's uh, go to the world settings first and just make it a little bit darker, because that's going to make it look a little bit better, and then select the uh, floor. Go into the materials, add a new material, and I'm going to make a dark floor in a glossy material. So uh, change it to a glossy material, and then change the roughness to about 0.1. When it comes to the roughness and the colors and materials, you can obviously add whatever you color and material you want, it doesn't really matter. But uh, if you want the same result as me, just uh, copy what I'm doing. Now let's select the attractor. And then click New. Let's make this one uh, glossy as well. And for this one, I will make the roughness about 0.2. By the way, if you have a, a GPU card, you can also use that instead of the CPU. It's going to be a little bit faster. But if you don't have a GPU, that's okay. You can still use the uh, CPU. Now, when it comes to the color, I will add a uh, golden color because I think that looks nice with the uh, black background. Okay, so now it's basically done. Now the rest of the tutorial is going to be about the render settings. So let's select the camera by clicking number at zero and then click Shift F to use the fly cam. You can move around with W, A, S, and D. Okay, and now let's go into rendered view by clicking Shift Set and see what it looks like when it's rendered. You can also change the size of the circle to change the thickness of the attractor. Okay, let's go to render settings, increase the resolution quality to 100%, and then change the sampling to a higher value if you want to render it to look better. Now, if you want to be completely sure that there is no noise in your image, make sure to select the denoising as well, just to be sure. Let's go back to the render settings, and then let's render out the image. 
Okay, so after a few minutes of rendering, this is what it looks like. I hope you liked the tutorial and a new one is coming very soon. If you want to take your Blender skills to the next level, you can also get the Great Tank Course made by me, which is available at Udemy.com. So thanks for watching and subscribe.